Hi everyone. Welcome to LN campus. This is Sashikant. Today we are going to discuss about the job shop control workbench of LN 10.5. The agenda of this session. Let's look at the concept of a workbench in general and then JSC workbench in specific. Business value that it is going to add. business requirements or business needs overview of the solution with a short demo and finally we will recap what we have discussed and close the session well i do not want to use any jargons to explain what is a workbench let me explain in a simple yet effective way If you are a user and performing a job in ERP LN the pain is we have too many screens or sessions to compile or get the data we have too many mouse clicks to find something or to do something there is no easy way to combine data from different sessions to overcome these challenges Infor has introduced workbenches for the major processes which basically decreases the navigation effort and improve the visualization. It also allows to organize and filter the data for specific objects. Workbenches also shows the actionable data so we don't need to worry about compiling the data from different sessions. Let's look at the concept of JSC workbench in specific. JSC workbench is a session which can be used to record the production operation setup or runtime. It can also be used to register or report the completed or rejected quantities. You can also use this session to set the operation status as complete. It is possible to view production order operation data including operation steps, instructions, materials, tools, text and related documents. I will spend significant time to explain the fields in detail when we move to the product demo. The business value is we can eliminate the traditional silos of data and processes and establish a single version of the truth. Users can concentrate more on delivering the work rather than finding drawings, work instructions and other non-productive stuff. This is possible since the required data is available at the user's fingertips. Delivering the right information to the right people at the right time to make better decisions about every aspect of the manufacturing including quantity rejection, actual hours, work in process and many more enable paperless manufacturing that delivers paperless work instructions throughout the extended production process for rapid responsiveness let's look at the business requirements the basic business requirement is to capture the actual production hours directly from the production line it should also provide us the real time data required for making better decisions it should also avoid customizations expensive softwares and integration headache let's open the job shop control workbench before getting into the detailed functionality let me explain you the different parts of the workbench session this part is the selection section of the workbench where we can select the work centers and the planned start date of the production orders the work center code is defaulted from the employee data of the current user you can select the employee code here The production hours will be posted against this employee. The employee must be active and must have the department set to type work center. This is the actions area. Different action buttons are available here to perform different tasks. 
If the operation involves setup, use the setup button to start the setup. When you are done with the setup and going to perform the actual production, click on the run button. Use the stop button to stop the time recording. Use the register quantities button to report the operation quantities. Complete operation button is used to record the quantities and additionally to set the operation status as complete. Now let's jump into the operations section. All the operations from the selected work centers up to and including the selected planned production order start date are shown here. This section shows the operation steps and instructions by operation step for the selected operation. The materials pane shows the materials that are required for performing the selected operation. The tools and text pane displays the tools needed for performing the selected operation and the associated text if any. When you run this session in InfoMingle, it displays the in-context information such as drawings. With this explanation, I presume that you have got fair idea about the JSC workbench layout. So let me pick one production order and demonstrate how we can capture the actual production hours, register quantities along with serials. I have a production order with two operations and the production order item is a serialized item. When I click on the production order, the relevant action buttons that are available are automatically highlighted. The operation steps are visible and raw material information is also available for the operator. Since this operation doesn't involve any setup, let's start the run directly. So the operation is now running. Now let's open and check what's happening in the production hours accounting session at this moment. A new hours accounting line has been created to record the actual operation start time. You see the labor time is still zero which means the operation is still running. So let's close this session and move back to the JSC workbench. Now let's stop the operation. The operation status is stopped. Now let's open and see the production hours accounting details now. The labor time is updated here. So this is how the actual hours are captured in ERPLN using the JSC workbench. Now let's see how we can report the quantities. To report the quantities, just click on the register quantities button. Enter the quantities here and click save. If the item is a serialized item, you can register the serial numbers as well. Now let's go to the report operations and check if the quantity has been updated correctly or not. The quantity has been updated correctly in the report operations session with quantity as one. So this is the way shop floor supervisors and managers get the real time data on the quantities completion or rejection to take the corrective or preventive actions if necessary. So just to summarize what we have discussed, workbenches decreases the navigational effort and improve the usability. JSC workbench can be used to capture the actual hours and publish the real time information. There is much more scope for improving this session. Just to highlight few, the current JSC workbench doesn't register which operator has entered or produced the quantities. I believe it is very essential to trace down and know 
which operator had done the mistake or deviated the process. JSC Workbench currently doesn't support raw material quarantine process. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel and never miss an update from LN Campus.